you're going to just go. Just go. Okay, I'll just go. Hey, welcome to the Electronics channel. In this video, we're going to look at a maximum power transfer example. And we're looking at this circuit. And what we want to do is figure out what load resistor we would need here to get the maximum power transferred from this part of the circuit to the load. Now, if you go back to the maximum power transfer theorem, it doesn't say how you deal with a circuit like this. All it says is if you have a if you have a voltage source and with an output resistance, so let's call that Vs and Rs, then you'll have the maximum power transferred to the load when Rl is equal to Rs. And this doesn't have the form of, of this. But fortunately, we know that any circuit that's in this form where it has voltage sources or even current sources and resistors, we can transform that circuit into a version that looks like this. And that's, of course, Thevenin's theorem. And I'm not going to go through that Thevenin transfer, that, that, that conversion from this form into this, this uh, Thevenin equivalent, but you can see the video here in this card somewhere around here, and you can find out what that conversion looks like. I can tell you what the answer is, though. It's the same as, this, as if we have a 33.3 volt source and an 83.3 ohm RS. And so we know from the maximum power transfer theorem that now if we have an RS that's equal to 83.3 ohms, then the maximum power will transfer from this part of the circuit to the load. And that's, that's really it for the question. Um, we could add another, a couple other things. What, what, uh, what's the voltage across the resistor? What's the current through the resistor? And then we could figure out what is that power that's maximally transferred. Well, simple calculations for the voltage, 33.3 volts times 83.3 over 83.3 plus 83.3. Well, I know that ratio is 0 0.5, so this works out to 16.67 volts. Current through it, again, very simple. Voltage across that resistor divided by the resistance of it, and that's 0 0.2 amps. And then, finally, what's the power? Actually, maybe we'll do one more thing after power. Power, voltage. Load voltage times load current. 3.33 watts. So 3.33 watts is the maximum power that can be delivered to the load, and, and that only occurs when the load resistor is 83.3 ohms. Final thing, what is the efficiency? Well, we could go through the calculation and look at the power in and divide power out by power in. But we also know from previous video, again, you can find it here. Uh, hopefully the card will show up. Um, the efficiency, when you have the maximum power being delivered to the load, the efficiency is 50%. And so what we've done in this video is we've combined a couple of theorems. We took Thevenin's theorem to convert from this circuit into this form of the circuit, and then used the maximum power transfer theorem to figure out what resistance we would need here, or here in the original circuit, that will give us the maximum power transferred to that load. All right, I appreciate you, and I appreciate you watching. See you next time. How's the hair? Hair okay? What about the suntan? The suntan all right? Okay.